guys and welcome back to another video so welcome back to my channel today we are going to be trying even though i know you guys already read in the title subway's meatball sub <laughs> so i'm sure a lot of you guys or maybe you haven't but a few of you guys have seen or heard me say i've never tried subway's meatball sub because i'm very very picky with my meatballs <laughs> That just sounds really weird. I am Italian or I have Italian in me, so I grew up in an Italian household where meatballs were like a very, very serious item. You did not mess with them. They were very, very seriously taken. I am very used to homemade meatballs that are seasoned a certain way and just like prepared a certain way. And I've never really, like I never really try anyone's meatballs. Like I don't go to like Cheesecake Factory and get like spaghetti and meatballs or anything like that. Even the Olive Garden, I won't eat their spaghetti and meatballs just because I don't want to have like a bias and I'm like, oh, these are so crappy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try their meatball sub because last time a lot of you guys were asking me to try it after we ate the pizza sub. I'm gonna try it for you guys and hopefully it's good. And if you don't know what their meatball sub is, well, it's just a meatball sandwich. I've never had a meatball sub, period. So this is my first ever meatball sub in my life, not only from Subway. So hopefully it's good, I've always wanted to try one. And let's get into the video. I hope you guys like today's video. If you do, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your funny paw to join the bunny family. So here is, I got mine on the Italian herb and cheese because it is my favorite bread at Subway. I don't know why, I just always go to it, I love it. I also have to get a hairband, so give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I got one. Let's start off by putting our hair back. And um, what I got on my, my meatball sub, because I don't feel like people really put anything on their meatball sub. Like, I'm not sure what people typically would get on a meatball sub. I feel like it's just meatballs, possibly cheese, and tomato or marinara sauce. So I just got the tomato sauce and or the marinara sauce. And I also got Parmesan cheese because I love Parmesan cheese. Like, I will eat pasta plain with just Parmesan cheese and some pepper on it. Oh, it's my favorite. So... Yes, <laughs> so I got the Parmesan cheese. I did get it toasted because that's what the, oh, that's what the girl recommended. She was like, everyone usually gets it toasted. I don't usually get my my bread toasted, but we got toasted. And that's it, it's a very, very plain sandwich or sub. But let's eat it. If you guys have tried it, how do you guys like it? Do you guys think I'm gonna like it? Comment down below if you think I'm gonna like it or not. I have no idea. By the way, I will show you guys the inside of it. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. The meatballs are kind of small. Like, and again, this is because of like where, how I grew up and whatnot. Our meatballs usually were really, really big. So the meatballs are really, <laughs> really small. So let's just try it. Okay, so, so I wanted to finish what I was eating before I talk because I have this really bad habit where like I just start talking to you guys and I have like food in my mouth and everyone's always like, stop talking with food in your mouth. So I'm working on it, I'm sorry. But this is actually not bad. Like it's not, obviously it's not my grandma's meatballs or my mom's meatballs or amazing, but it's actually not bad. Like I can eat this and be like, it's not too bad. The I do like their marinara sauce. It's on like the sweeter side versus like the really like acidy tomato-y side. If, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, like some pasta sauces or marinara sauces are very, very like acidic where you're like, oh, as soon as you like take a bite of them, this is actually more sweeter marinara sauce. It tastes like to me that could be the cheese possibly. I don't know, but it's actually not bad. I think definitely I can taste the Parmesan because she put a lot on, which I like a lot. By the way, that was literally just a piece of bread and a marinara sauce. I love bread and marinara sauce. It's like, I will sit there. I actually used to have my mom um, take a side of her pasta sauce because I didn't really eat pasta sauce on my pasta for a really long time because it gave me really bad heartburn. But I would take it on the side and I would dip my bread in it because that was just how I like to eat it. That was my favorite way to eat my pasta sauce. So I was like, if I'm gonna get heartburn, I'd rather get it this way than that way. So that was my favorite way to eat my bread was with just dunk, dunk, dunking it in pasta sauce or marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce. I call it pasta sauce. I don't know, it's just what I call it. By the way, somebody in the last food video said, 
I swear, it sounds like you're singing the Blue Skidoo song when you do the bunny dance, and I am. I always do, <laughs> which is the Blue Skidoo, you can do. <laughs> so you were right, by the way, high five. Mm. I almost just choked. <laughs> I don't know how this would have tasted on any other sandwich, but I would definitely get this again. <laughs> this is really good. I think it's because she put a heaping little pasta sauce on it. So it's like a whole bunch of bread and pasta sauce or marinara sauce with like a little bit of meatballs. And the meatballs are not bad at all. I kind of want to taste one by itself. So the meatballs aren't like too bad. They're not like crazy bad. If you're like a meatball snob <laughs> and you might not like them but i like them i think they're pretty good like i would totally eat this again mm. it's definitely interesting like little meatballs because they always like it, i try to take a bite out of it, but it like slides away and i'm like what the heck <laughs> I think I might go to Subway and just get like bread and pot in their marinara sauce. It's so good. <laughs> so I will say that if you have heartburn, <laughs> you probably, this will probably give you really bad heartburn. I'm starting to get heartburn already. I did get a six inch, but I can definitely already feel like the heartburn starting to make, it, make its way up. And I'm like, oh man, oh man, not like this. But it is really good. If you guys have never had a meatball sub, because I had never had it before. I know it sounds like pretty obvious, like imagine a meatball inside of a sandwich, but the way it tastes and like the texture of it is basically like when you bite inside of it, it's kind of soggy a little bit. Well, not soggy, but like the pasta sauce or the marinara sauce obviously makes the bread on the inside a lot soggier than like mayonnaise would or anything like that. Unless it's been sitting there for a long time because it is a wetter um, condiment, I guess. It's, I mean, it's marinara sauce, so it's a lot wetter than like mayonnaise. It, it is like a wetter consistency, so it does kind of soak up the bread a little bit more. So it's a pretty soggy sandwich. Not like soggy in a bad way where it's like, oh my God, I can't eat it, but it's like a really soft. So like if you get it toasted, usually when I get my, my sandwiches toasted, they end up like scratching the roof of my mouth really, really bad, which is why I will not get my sandwiches toasted. But this, if you get it toasted, it won't do it most likely. At least it hasn't done it for me because I'm assuming it's because the, the marinara sauce has kind of softened the like toastiness up. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making any sense at all right now, but that's the best way I can describe it. And the meatballs themselves are very soft. They're not super dense, or at least mine aren't. They're pretty soft. Um, they have a decent taste to them. Like they're not like overly spiced or like seasoned. I feel like it's a lot of people put like a lot of oregano in their meatballs, and these don't taste like they have a lot of oregano. I'm not the biggest fan of oregano, so these don't have that like crazy over oregano-y meatball taste. If you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I would totally get this again. <laughs> See, there it is. It's like one little meatball left. He's like a little, he's like a little pig in a blanket. <laughs> like I love the sweetness in this sandwich. I was legit looking for napkins this entire time I was eating this and it was underneath the paper of the sandwich and so I did not see them and I was like, I could have sworn I brought napkins over here. Anyways, so that is going to be it. I finished the six inch and it was, worthy i would totally go get it again i feel like when winter comes around and i want something hot i would totally be down to this i and get like a meatball sub so good again i didn't have any crazy cheese on it i just put some parmesan on it which um it's not like the actual parmesan like slices or like from a block it's parmesan like craft parmesan cheese if you guys know what that looks like it's basically like the craft like um ground up parmesan cheese and i would say that like if you guys think you might like this or you like the taste of bread with pizza sauce or pasta sauce or marinara sauce then you would honestly probably think it's a decent sandwich i don't 
I don't know if you would love it and be like, oh my god, this is my staple. This is probably not going to be my staple just because it will give me heartburn. <laughs> but I definitely think it's worthy and I would totally go get it again. And if it sounds like something you guys would like, then I would say you should definitely try it out because I thought it was really good. So I hope you guys will like this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new, hit that sub button with your bunny paw. Also, if you've eaten this before or tried this, comment down below how you ate it. Like, did you put different cheeses on it and how you liked it? So I will see you guys tomorrow.